Okay, so um, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using my uh, corn tortilla press <laughs> to press the dough. So I was able to press a, a ravioli real quick. And I put a little bit of spinach in there. And I put the two together. And I have some boiling water here. So I'm doing a test just to, to make sure everything's... My... my dough is good and everything before I start making a bunch of raviolis I want to make sure everything's right so I'm doing a little test uh, now being that uh, the pasta is fresh it is not like when you are uh, getting pasta well some well some of the, the pastas at the store are fresher uh, it doesn't take long to cook basically is what I'm saying when you have the dry pasta it takes a while to cook because it has to re uh, rehydrate itself before it actually cooks so that little sucker is floating around in there real nicely it's boiling it's bubble um, the critical thing that you want when you when you do a ravioli is when you Put the two together, the two pastas together. You want to make sure there's no openings. You want that thing sealed well because if you get a hole in your ravioli when it's boiling, it's going to suck in uh, the water and it's just going to ruin the ravioli. So it's real important to make sure you have a good seal. That's doing so nicely. I think I can even flip it over. Now, it's up to you. I mean, some people like their, their pasta al dente, which means it's a little bit tough. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not big on that. I, I like mine cooked pretty well. So I'm going to let this cook for a little bit longer. Okay, so these videos are taking a little while because this is not a fast process. But uh, I'm downloading some software that will allow me to speed up the videos at certain points. So this would probably be one of those points that I could speed it up. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Let's see what we come up with here. Of course, it's gonna be a lot better when we put the sage cream sauce on it. But that is what a ravioli looks like. It's still a little al dente, but it tastes pretty good.
So I'm going to move forward and start making some raviolis.